31-year-old Becky Bodner lives with narcolepsy. So before I was diagnosed, um, a typical day for me would be, you know, waking up after having slept for the past, I don't know, 12 to 15 hours, um, feeling exhausted and, you know, going to class, perhaps falling asleep in class. I noticed that I'd be taking notes in class and I'd look down at my notebook at the end of the class and there would be, you know, perfect notes and then it would be just chicken scratch, illegible writing and then notes again. So I'd fallen asleep or had a micro sleep but hadn't realized that I had fallen asleep during that time. I went through a very depressive period where I actually had a suicide attempt. And after that attempt, I was hospitalized. And the first point of contact that I had in the hospital was um, a psychiatrist who specialized in sleep disorders. So when I was going through triage um, for psychiatry in the hospital, he was the first person who I'd come across who knew what I was talking about and saw the connection between you know, the narcolepsy and the depression. So meeting him actually changed a lot because not only was I able to get into a program where I was able to do cognitive behavioral therapy and um, you know, group therapy, individual therapy, talk about the things behind it, but he took me on as a patient. And uh, he actually works at the Royal Ottawa Hospital. Um, he's not my current doctor, but he helped me in my journey a lot. With the help of fundraising efforts, Becky was able to start a not-for-profit entitled NAPS. All of the, the things that I didn't have or that you know, weren't available to me when I first was diagnosed, I wanted to be able to create that for people like me or people who were experiencing that. The thing that I'm most proud of is, uh, so after a while on, on that drug Xyrem, the expensive drug that I, I was taking for cataplexy, I realized that it wasn't sustainable. So I started looking for alternatives and I came across these um, mice studies on a drug called baclofen and it's a muscle relaxant or antispasmodic. It's an old drug that's been around for decades. Uh, very little side effects, um, but they had tried it on narcoleptic mice and they noticed that their cataplexy had resolved with this medication. And not only was this medication you know, widely available, fairly safe, it, it was cheap as well. So I went to my doctor, uh, my current doctor at the Royal Ottawa, and I asked him if I could try it. And to my surprise, not only did he say I could try it, but he said, let's do a case study. Becky began telling the world about this new, affordable medication. The thing that I'm most proud of is not only kind of finding out about this alternative, but telling as many people as I could about it and I'm still advocating for it because I've seen people's lives change for the better and it's a more affordable option for them and they're getting their lives back and for me that's just makes my life worthwhile. When it comes to people with narcolepsy I will never quit advocating for them. I will never, um, you know, I will never lay down the cause because it's so important to me to make sure that that support is there for people and that they know that, you know, this is they're so much more than their disorder and, and I'm so much more than my disorder.